Hi, I'm John Noviello. I'm one of the nurse anesthetists here at Coley Dickinson Hospital. And I'm gonna walk you through a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, or as you know, what a gallbladder removal surgery. Uh, it's gonna be performed by Dr. Helms. She and the general surgeons here at Coley Dickinson Hospital perform hundreds a year. And my job is to anesthetize you and uh, bring you safely through the procedure. We begin the tour once the belly has been filled with gas that lifts the belly wall off the intestines and the organs below. It's a minimally invasive surgery. There's usually just four tiny incisions. In this photo, you see a grasper holding the gallbladder and Dr. Helms introduces a hook cautery that uses heat to seal off tiny blood vessels, kind of like a little uh, lightsaber to minimize bleeding. She has to open up the fatty tissue around the gallbladder that connects the gallbladder to the liver bed. Now you see a Maryland dissector used to define a branch of the artery that feeds the gallbladder. That artery brings blood containing nutrients to the organ. And behind that, you can see at the bottom of the screen, is a bluish structure. Dr. Helms is meticulously uh, dissecting strand by strand to isolate the artery's branches and the duct to the gallbladder. That duct connects the gallbladder to the liver's biliary tree, essentially the plumbing that drains the liver's bile. Now you see the introduction of the hook cautery that uses heat to cauterize the little capillary arteries. It prevents them from bleeding. It passes down a current of electricity and you see uh, Dr. Helms separating the gallbladder from the liver bed. Now once that dissector has identified all the branches, she introduces surgical clips on the anterior or the front branch of the artery. This will seal off the artery. You'll see a clip here and then a clip above. And that seals off that anterior or forward branch. These are surgical scissors that will cut the anterior branch. So now we can see the center. We'll introduce the surgical clips again and isolate that center structure. One clip there and then one more above, and repeat the process with the scissors. This all has to be carefully dissected to minimize bleeding and tissue trauma. That yellowish fluid confirms the cystic duct had been isolated. And here comes the surgical clips again. They're titanium, they stay in your body. You'll make a scar over them. We're isolating the posterior branch here we're going to introduce a pair of scissors to separate that. And that's it. Anterior branch, posterior branch, and cystic duct are all isolated. And now the gallbladder has to be removed from the liver bed. Here's the hook cautery again. The electricity. This tension with a grasper that's holding the gallbladder above out of the view of the screen. This is that hook cautery again. It sends a little current. You can use it hot like this, there's heat coming down, or you can use it to push tissue out of the way. So that's a grasper. It puts tension on the gallbladder between the gallbladder and the liver bed so that the dissector, this hook uh, cautery rather, can separate the gallbladder off the liver bed. It's done carefully and meticulously so as not to injure the liver. You're under general anesthesia during this. You have no pain, you're unaware.
The average gallbladder is just a few inches in length and holds about half a cup of bile. It can vary um, depending on how diseased the gallbladder is. That's the liver on the right of the screen, and in the center is that hook cautery, and that's still fatty connective tissue that holds the gallbladder to the liver. Everybody has some, don't worry. There's that grasper again. You see that little blue egg thing? That's the gallbladder. That's a grasper, picking it up, and here comes the cautery again. to be careful here so as not to injure the liver. Everything looks good. And it's almost free. It's been there for a long time. Sometimes it's reluctant to let go. almost there. You can go. So that's the gallbladder and the grasper. And now we introduce a Ziploc bag called an endo pouch. Put the gallbladder inside the pouch. We cinch the pouch closed. And we bring it out through a porthole. One of those four tiny incisions that make it a minimally invasive surgery. And we pop it through. Belly. Wall. And no more gallbladder. That's the liver. We're back in to reinspect the work, make sure there's no bleeding, any trauma to the surrounding organs. It's a very careful look before we close everything up. That's the liver. That's the momentum. A little bit of fat that covers all your organs inside your body.